What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. Today I'm going to be reviewing the newest movie that releases on Wednesday in theaters and on Paramount Plus. That is Clifford, the Big Red Dog. Now they're doing a Clifford movie? A middle schooler named Emily struggles to fit in at home and at school. She discovers a small red puppy who is destined to become her best friend from a magical animal rescuer. One night she wishes that she herself and Clifford were big and strong. And then the next day, Clifford is big. The whole town starts to discover this big red dog and... A lot of the town are with Emily, but some people aren't in trying to capture Clifford. Now, growing up, I used to watch Clifford the Big Red Dog all the time. It was on, on my TV, and I had stories read to me when I was a kid. So there is that nostalgia factor, but after I saw the announcement in a trailer for this movie, I was like, what the heck is this? Is this a joke? Like, Clifford the Big Red Dog, first of all, it's not animated. This is live action. I thought that was the dumbest decision possible. But now after watching it, I thought the trailers are just trailers. Let me watch the actual film for myself. And surprisingly, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm not joking, guys. I really enjoyed this movie. In a shocking way. I mean, I watched this movie and it was cute. It was adorable. Like, there's nothing harmful about this movie at all. If you're a dog lover, I think you're going to really enjoy this one. And if you have kids, I think the kids will enjoy it a lot. And if you're an adult watching it with your kids, I think you'll enjoy it as well. Clifford's adorable. I mean, just this dog is so adorable, so cute. You see the opening of the movie is really tragic. And you follow Clifford's journey as he comes across Emily, this girl who adopts him and he grows big and it's just the cutest puppy you can imagine and then he becomes a big dog and is just playful if you're a dog lover if you own dogs which i do you're gonna really enjoy the scenes with clifford in this movie the way he just acts out whenever he sees people in those plastic ball thingies at the park he just plays around with them is the funniest thing. I was cracking up. This movie's surprisingly funny. Like, there's some really funny parts to it if you know how dogs react to stuff. And it's just really great. And it just the comedy with Clifford always works for me. And surprisingly, I did enjoy the other human characters in here, especially the girl Emily. I thought she was great. I really enjoyed her and Clifford's relationship. And as well as her relationship with her uncle in the film. Jack Whitehall was enjoyable in here. He was also in another film earlier this year, Jungle Cruise. And I thought he was really enjoyable in here. And I really enjoyed his character. And just seeing the whole town come together in support of Clifford. And then those people that aren't with Clifford at all. This movie also has a great message to it, surprisingly. It's about being different. Being different is okay. Just because you see a big red dog doesn't mean you gotta go hunting after it and trying to capture it. It's very fun and very sweet and loving. And just seeing the whole town come together in support just made it enjoyable to watch and it's a really great message for kids out there and i really enjoyed john cleese's character in here he's a legend whenever his short scenes do pop up he always gives a great piece of advice to our lead character in here of always loving your dog no matter what and that's also a great message because if you own dogs you're going to love your dogs no matter what. Now, is Clifford the Big Red Dog the movie one of the best movies of the year, like top 10? Definitely not. There's a lot of issues with it, but I'm able to overcome them. The biggest issue is the CGI. I mean, that's pretty obvious. This is not great looking CGI, but it's not the worst CGI I've ever seen on Clifford. The scenes when he looks like a puppy looked better when he looked big. Whenever he looked big, it looked really bad in certain scenes, but it didn't 
bother me. I'm able to overcome some of the bad CGI in this movie. And also the main villain of the movie, Tony Hale, you may know as the voice of Forky in Toy Story 4. I thought his character was pretty over the top. Like he's this guy that tries to take Clifford, says that he's his when he's not his. I just couldn't stand his character, just really over the top. His jokes wasn't funny. And just that whole villain aspect didn't work for me. Before I give you guys my final overall thoughts on Clifford, the Big Red Dog movie, if this is your guys' first time checking out the channel and you enjoyed this review, definitely hit that like button and consider clicking that subscribe button for more reviews every single week, rankin videos and live Q&As. I talk movies all the time here and you're not gonna wanna miss what content is coming up on this channel. Clifford the Big Red Dog, the movie, was surprisingly good, enjoyable. I really was smiling throughout the film. I enjoyed it. It was cute, adorable, with a good message to it. So guys, definitely check out Clifford the Big Red Dog movie, especially if you have a family. I think the kids will enjoy this one. I'm going to give Clifford the Big Red Dog movie a B-. minus. Yeah, I enjoyed this one. Is it amazing? Flawless? Definitely not. But give this one a shot, guys. I think you'll enjoy this one. Alrighty, guys, that was my thoughts on Clifford the Big Red Dog movie. What did you guys think of this movie if you've seen it? Did you love it like me? Did you think it was okay? Did you absolutely hate it? Let's talk about it in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. All my social media links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.